Good morning, everyone, and welcome. A special welcome to those who are joining us digitally, who are spending this time with others on a Bible camp. This is a, a wonderful that you're able to join with us as we celebrate Holy Mass here at St. Mark Parish. I'm the pastor, Father Brennan. Today we celebrate Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Sacred Scripture celebrates the beauty of Carmel, a place where the prophet Elijah defended Israel's faith in the living God. Others drew to the area and founded an order called the Carmelites under the patronage of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So today we're asking the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We'll join in our opening hymn, Hail Holy Queen, enthroned above. Hail Holy Queen, enthroned above, O Maria. Hail Queen of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn, Salve, Salve, Salve Regina. O gentle, loving, holy one, O Maria, the God of life became your Son, O Maria. Triumph, O ye cherubim, sing with us, ye seraphim, heaven and earth resound the hymn, Salve, Salve, Salve Regina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace and peace of the Lord be with you and with your spirit. As we come together on this, Our Lady of Mount Carmel's feast day, the memorial, we take a moment to ask God's mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the righteous is level. O just one, you make smooth the path of the righteous. In the path of your judgments, O Lord, we wait for you. Your name and your renown are the soul's desire. My soul yearns for you in the night. My spirit within me earnestly seeks you. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. O Lord, you will ordain me, ordain peace for me, for indeed all we have done, you have done for us. O Lord, in distress, they sought you, they poured out a prayer when your chastening was on them. Like a woman with child who rise and cries out in her pangs, when she is near her time. So we were, because of you, O Lord, we were with child. We writhed, but we gave birth only to wind. We have won no victories on earth, and no one is born to inhabit the world. 
Your dead shall live, their corpus, corpses shall rise. O dwellers in the dust, awake and sing for joy. For your dew is radiant dew, and the earth will give birth to those long dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. You, O Lord, are enthroned forever. Your name endures to all generations. You will rise up and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to favor it. Your servants hold its stones dear and have pity on its dust. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. The nations will fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. The Lord will build up Zion, he will appear in his glory, and he will regard the prayer of the destitute, he will not despise their prayer. From heaven the Lord looks down upon the earth. Let this be recorded for a generation to come, so that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord, that he looked down from his holy height, from heaven the Lord looked at the earth, to hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who were doomed to die. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come to me, all you that labor and are burdened. I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. As you can see from our vestments this morning, we are celebrating a, a Marian memorial, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. It's wonderful how Our Lady shares with us all the trials and tribulations, afflictions, all the things that we have to uh, carry in life. But you notice from the message our Lord shares with us this morning, he talks about a yoke, but he begins his word by asking us to come to him not to someone else, not to the world, not to things, not to money, not to possessions, not to our gains, but we have to come to the Lord. And the Lord promises us that he will give us a yoke. See, he doesn't say, I will take your yoke from you and give it to somebody else. No, he didn't say that. Now, he didn't say, I will take your yoke and give you something else. But he said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Well, what, how can we describe a yoke? A yoke is something that an ox, a team of ox, uh, place, is placed on their, their shoulders or on their neck so that they can um, maneuver whether it's uh, drawing furrows or whether they're um, 
carrying a, a heavy wagon or something of that nature. But the yoke is placed on their shoulders that's very heavy. But the Lord says about his yoke, a yoke is easy and, and my burden is light. Well, thank goodness uh, for the Lord's instructions this morning. I just want to share something with you. A few years ago, I was going to be heading out on a long journey the Basque region of Spain on the Camino de Santiago de Compostela. And there's all sorts of things I needed for this journey. I was thinking my passport, some euros, some Canadian money for the airport, my passport, credentials, all sorts of things I needed. A celebrant card to say that I'm a priest so that I could offer mass in the chapels. I needed lots of different things, clothing, footwear, all sorts of things. But after a while, I uh, put all this oh, stuff on my back and I could barely carry it. <laughs> it just got too burdensome, too heavy a load. So I had to oh, start to unpack and um, I came up with something which was basically about a quarter of the size because honestly it's too difficult to carry these heavy things with us you may have heard the expression being loaded down with baggage we're literally I just couldn't carry all that weight for such a long time. I was going to be going for almost four weeks. It would be virtually impossible. And what I discovered was less is more. Guess what the most difficult thing to carry in life? It wasn't my water bottle, which is very heavy. It wasn't my mask kit, which is very heavy as well. It wasn't even my waterproof morale boots. It wasn't even my jacket. No, it wasn't my rain jacket either. And it wasn't my knapsack. Nope, that wasn't the heaviest thing. The heaviest thing was, of course, my sins. And the Lord is saying to us, come to me, you who are carrying these things, and place them on my shoulders. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Well, that was a great learning lesson. I thought I needed all this stuff in order to be prepared, in order to go out and conquer this Camino. And little did I realize the Lord would provide. Everywhere I went, everything was provided. A place to stay. Masses offered in the chapel. Everything was provided, even the meals. Well, I had to pay a little bit for those. But it's interesting how less becomes more. And the more that we unburden ourselves to the Lord, the lighter we feel. We don't want to puck around like chickens. We want to soar like eagles. So we have to get rid of that extra baggage. And we don't want to carry around with us the things that really weigh us down, which is really our sins. We want to be free of those so that the Lord will give us those beautiful gifts in which he wants us to carry. One of the things I remember from the Proverbs, the book of Proverbs is filled with all sorts of wisdom. And one of the Proverbs is, let go of those weighty rocks in your hands so that you can hold the true treasure. Now, if you know, if you've been at the beach, that rocks are really heavy, and if you, you pick up a couple of them, that's all you can get into your hands. 
But if the Lord, if we let go of those, the Lord can give us a precious treasure to carry, and we can carry it all through life, faith, hope, and love. And we don't have to be burdened by other things. We can give those away, and we can share the treasures that the Lord gives to us. God bless you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands, the praise and glory of his name, our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, and no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise, as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many, the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and here the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. prayer that Jesus taught his followers, and we ask that we will always be drawn to Christ, that we will unburden ourselves and carry the yoke that Christ has asked us to carry. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord with you always, and with your spirit. As we offer each other the sign of peace, let us remember to be cordial with our loved ones, to be very respectful and, and good natured with our parents, and a special way to try to be on good terms with our siblings. mundi. <laughs> Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, quit alles peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, quit alles peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of a lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you stand unto my roof, but unto the word of my soul shall be healed. Let us pray together the spiritual communion. I wish my Lord to receive you. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. Embrace me as you would, as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we see to, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. And thanks be to God. We have another beautiful uh, Marian hymn that will help to alleviate our necessary um, dependence on earthly things and uh, raise our minds and hearts to, to heaven. Let us be elevated by the Blessed Virgin Mary's role in salvation history, her yes to God. Let us try to echo that yes in our own lives. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Amen. 